just manipulating you, taking advantage of you and your feelings. Maybe the presence of a close person made you feel drained, or someone always tried to bring out the worst in you. If you have felt this way, don't worry, you are not alone. I had the same issue, and it's called toxic relationship. I want to share my own experience in a toxic friendship. Of course, my friends weren't toxic from the beginning. At first, we put all of our efforts, love and support in our friendship. But day by day, I started to feel like I am the only one who brings positivity and sincerity into this relationship. And you know what? It was true. Usually, my friends tried to make me do things that I didn't want to do, such as smoking, drinking alcohol drinks, and other things that I don't like. And you know, the worst part about this was, even when they acted like this, I still tried to stick up for them, convincing myself that they are good and I am just a little bit dramatic. As long as I started questioning my friendship, I have realized that my friends could be described as abusive and unsupportive. In one word, toxic. Their toxic behavior was poisoning my life. I couldn't handle it anymore. And I have decided to cut these people off. And you might have a question, how I realized that they were toxic. Then let's talk about red flags. The first red flag, I kept the good news to myself. I was covering up my happiness since my toxic friends were jealous, envious or negative when I experienced success and accomplishments. The next red flag, uh, I was giving more than I was getting. There was a big imbalance between what I was giving and what I was getting. Um, for instance, one of my toxic friends used to monopolize the conversation to talk about what was going on in her life. But as soon as it was time to talk about me, she certainly used to remember that she just had to be somewhere else. Hence, if you always feel like you're giving, 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 and there's no getting back, that is a sign that your relationship might be toxic. Another red flag appeared when I was made to believe that I became too sensitive and overreacting. Toxic people have abused me so often that I start to question myself, thinking that I am the source of the problem. Being in any kind of long-term toxic relationship can seriously harm your mental health, lower your self-esteem and even lead you to depression. That's precisely why people shouldn't underrate the influence of a toxic relationship and think that it's not a big deal. Based on my own experience, I can say that the issue with toxic people is that they will never leave you. For this reason, I encourage you to be brave enough to take the first step out of a toxic relationship by setting boundaries until you can fully stop communicating with toxic people. After that, you should give yourself time to heal and take the first step on the path of self-love and self-respect. Thank you.